Hey guys, in this After Effects tutorial, we're faking it. I'll show you how to rotate a smartphone or a tablet without using 3D animation. Here we go. I've created a background solid. On top of that, we'll add another bright solid to break up that uniform background a little bit. Then we add an ellipse mask in the upper left corner and set the feather to 600 pixels. And call it light. Next up is the front of the tablet. We create a new rounded rectangle shape by double clicking on the rounded rectangle tool and set the width to 400 and the height of the shape to 600 pixels. Add a white stroke with 2 pixels. Then change the fill color to a nice purple. What a beauty! Of course we name the layer tablet front. Then we duplicate it and rename the new layer into Tablet Back. Get rid of the stroke and add a gradient ramp. Um, we need to make the front invisible to see the back. Can't look through. Oh, here we go. We take the front purple color for the upper end of the ramp. For the lower end we turn black. Ok, the back is still invisible for now, as this is the front view. Now we duplicate the tablet front layer once more and name it Display. Unclick the stroke, set the roundness to 0 and the width to 350 pixels, the height to 550 pixels. Finally, we change the fill color into a bright pink. Next, a new rounded rectangle. Unclick that little chain which keeps the proportions and set the size to 45 pixels each and the roundness to 5 pixels. In order to see it, we change the color into a bright yellow. And we name the layer apps, meaning we need more than one of these rectangle shapes. We position the shape in the left corner and duplicate the rectangle 5 times. Then select all of them and duplicate the whole row. Move it downwards while holding shift to move in a straight line. And so on, until you think it's enough apps. Now we use the rectangle tool to draw a new shape across the display. Which we name Reflections. Then we convert the shape into a BC path and move the upper points to the right, the lower points to the left. Then we change the color into a very bright pink. Copy the path and move it to the right. Decrease the width of the shape, copy it once more and place it to the right of the two shapes. Now we select all three shapes and press Command D to copy them once more and move the three shapes to the right so that just a little of the big shape lies on top of the display. Finally, we set the mode of the layer to overlay to give it a bit of transparency. We use the set matte effect and the display shape as mask. Now we parent the reflections, the apps and the display to the front layer. Awesome! That's the setup of the tablet. Now we copy the display layer once more, don't forget to release the link again, and name it background shape 1. and change the label color. Now we change the size by clicking the little chain and changing the width to 500 pixels. Activate the stroke and set the fill opacity to 20%. Finally we change the color into a very bright pink. Awesome! Now we copy the shape three times and place two of them in the scene behind the tablet. And 
and two of them left of the scene. We need those background elements to support the change of perspective. Speaking of, let's start to animate, finally! We set position keyframes at zero for all the parent layers and a mask path keyframe for the light. Then at 1 second and 10 frames, we want the perspective to have changed. So we move the light to the other side of the screen, then the back of the tablet 20 frames to the right. The background shapes to the right. Try to keep the distances a little different to avoid uniformity. Alright. Change from front view to some kind of parallel view. One more thing to do, the reflections need to move the opposite way, to the left. Now we're done with that part. We want the scene to stand still for a moment, so we copy all the keyframes to two seconds in the timeline. Then 7 frames later, we want the tablet to move back to the front view. We copy all the keyframes from the beginning. At 2 seconds and 10 frames, we want the perspective to change to side view. Therefore, we move the light out of the scene as well as the two background shapes. And the reflections. Now we need to rotate the tablet. We fake that by scaling the front and the back. Add keyframes for scale and position. Then unclick the little chain and set the scale width to 10%. Nothing to see yet, until we set the front scale width to zero. Magic! Finally. We move the tablet back around 10 frames to the left. Nice, but linear, I'd say. Let's add some easy ease in and adjust the curves. We select all of the points, move down until they hit the bottom line, then drag the handles to the right. Same for the other guys, and so on. Until it looks like that. Slow start, fast end. Nice and smooth. Now you creative geniuses, go ahead and add some meat to the rotation. Maybe something like that. Thanks so much for watching, hope that was helpful. If you have any kind of questions, let me know in the comments below. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And you all know that sharing is caring. See you all next time, bye!